Welcome to October 1st, 2008. Time for the Lord's Care Ministry, a light shining from above. Day 275 of the year 2008. Now let's get our Bibles and open them up to Galatians 5 and verse 22. The fruit of the Spirit is temperance. Okay, let's go over to 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 25 through 27. Brethren, if I go too fast for you, use the pause button so that you can read along with me. For those who have eyes to see, let them see. For those who have ears to hear, let them hear. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 25 through 27. Every man that is striving for the ministry is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertainty, so fight I not as one that breathe the air, but I keep under my body and bring it to subjection. These that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Now let's take a look and read with me Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 18. Be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Now over to Matthew. Chapter 16 and verse 24. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his stake and follow me. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verses 6 through 8. Let us not sleep as others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunk are not drunken in the night. But let us, who are of the day, be sober. Now Titus, chapter 2, verses 12 and 13. Denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we shall live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Rest, retrospection of the believer. Duty of the retrospection. Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 2. Thou shalt remember all the way with the Lord thy God led ye these forty years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee to know what was in thine heart whether thou wouldst keep his commandments thus far the Lord has led me on and made his truth and mercy known and while I tread this desert land now mercy shall new songs demand in God's word only do we trust never in the tradition of men is a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. The Spirit binds us to our Lord. We find in Psalms chapter 133, verses 1 and 2, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for the brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head. Brethren, are you bound together with the Lord Jesus Christ? Or are you following the tradition of men? Do you call yourself a Christian? That's just a name only. A Christian follows the Lord all his ways, not the tradition of men. If you want to follow the Lord and you've been following that broad path to destruction, Get down on your knees and repent and ask the Lord to show you His way. 
not the way of men. And if you truly want a change in your heart, the Father and the Son will hear you. Well, brethren, we're going to close for today. Have a little bit of computer problem, but we'll make out. We'll fix it. You all have a great day, and God willing, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.